You are welcome once more. Today is another beautiful day. I'm happy because I'm your parents. We are all healthy. Even though we have every cause to celebrate someone today for what has happened in the past days or so. But I know because we are all human beings. And there's only one thing I want us to know. I told you last time. Jesus is the one that is the master of everything. We are human beings. God himself made us in his own way, like him. But we might be faith against God. I said it the last time. This is the reason why we are going through all these things. Human nature fail against him. And what happened? He made a provision for us to make sure that he consigned us back again. This is why I thought that name Jesus came up. And the truth is this as so long as you are a human being, take it or leave it. You have no option than to live for Christ. If you don't want to live for him, you can live for yourself. It's not a problem. But I want to tell you that you're living for yourself, not for Christ. There is always an end. And that is one of the ends we are going to talk about today also. The end must come for humanity. And that end is so simple. If you are in Christ, directly you are entering into eternity. You are not in Christ, directly you are entering into hell. That one is not like, let me do something, nothing you can do. It's a matter of making a choice to live definitely for what you know is right. In fact, I have told you, and I'm saying it again, Jesus Christ has said it without me, nothing you can do. And if you think I'll do something, do it, it's not a problem. It wouldn't force you. Nor will I here tell you today to tell you that you must do something. Even if you are my son, give it back to you. I cannot force you to do anything. You make up your mind. We are no more children today. We are adults. So everyone that is here today, it's your own life. You have your own life to live. And you must make sure you know what you are doing. Jesus Christ is the way and is the truth. Without him, nothing you can do. If you like, you can be already yes. Without Christ, you could be already yes. I don't know. But just know the end is definitely going to come. And that end is what we are going to. That is why we are celebrating a battery today. Because our end has come. And if you die in Christ, what happens? You go straight to eternity. That is the way out. Nothing like this. What is going to happen? No. But if you are not in him, no, there is no other alternative than you are dying also to hell. And that one, you cannot say, let me know, you can't do anything. Whatever you can do is on this head. Jesus Christ is consigned the Almighty back to God himself. And this is the reason why we have an option. To remain in him. Then, when you are in Christ, just know that your end comes, you are going to eternity. There are no two ways about it. If you don't want to be in Christ, no man can force you. I told even my own son, I cannot force him. Why? Because he has his life to live. But at the end of the day, when the day comes to an end, there is no story about it. Daddy, are you leaving me alone? I don't think I can do. Everyone goes on his own. So, brothers and sisters, we don't call yourself I'm an adult. I'm an adult, so I know what to do. You may know what to do, but not to this extent when we talk about living for Christ. I say it often and often, I say it again today. Anything you want to be on this head, without Christ, you are just nothing. Just know it today. You can say, I'm too busy. Busy, I don't have time for Christianity. Please, then you have time for hell. It's so simple. Do not say, I don't know devil. I don't know the devil. I'm not. No. Brothers and sisters, this is the only way out. Remain with him all you are with them. I pray that every single one that has other side of our faith today, 
I don't want to know where you go to, or where you belong to. Remain in Christ. Yes, Abide in Him. Why? Because it's the only way and the truth. I will tell him nothing can do. That is correct. You may do it, but it's not correct. Why is it not correct? It will be correct today. But tomorrow, you find that it's not right. Why? Because every humanity has an end. You have to live, but there is always an end to everything. If you sleep on him, if anything happens, you sleep on him. You are in Christ and you sleep. Just know the day you wake you up for eternity. But if you sleep without him, you wake up to find yourself in hell. And that's going to be dangerous. So, brothers, please, I want us to make up our mind at least today that I will now make up my mind decisively that I have to live for Christ. That is obedience. It has a way out. That is why we have the Bible to know what to do, how to live. Do not say, I'm okay, I'm not sick, so I don't think I need church. Is it meant for sick people? No. It's just a way for us to know how to live for Him. Every human being, I'm not just one person. If you like, your color can be red or white or yellow, anything. Rose for a human being, you have heart and soul. Just know Christ came for you and reconciled you back to God Himself. Without Him, you can do nothing, and that's the truth. And how do you remain with him? Remain abiding in his word. Be obedient to his word. You must have to make sure you make up your mind to live for Christ. Don't allow anything on this earth to say, do me this. Don't have time for this. It's the best is only deceiving you. That is only deceiving you. Say, I'm too busy. With the work I'm doing, I don't have time. Which time you don't have to? The prayer that is in you. It's not your own. Everyone that is here has bread of Christ in him. Bread of God in him. And that bread was contaminated by the, by the false humanity. And this is why God now said, you are no longer my children. He made you a new death report. Christ came to reconcile every humanity to fact of him. And this is why the bread that is in you now is being from God. And you, have, you must have time for him. Many of you here, you always think I'm too wise, I don't have time for God. You can be too wise, wrong year, two years, three years, ten years, twenty years, it doesn't matter. But when the end comes, brothers and sisters, like I've just told you, if you sleep in the Lord, just know that the eternity is your portion because it's going to wake you up again. Lord, go for Father eternity. That is if you are sleeping in Him. What do you mean by sleeping in Him? If you are obedient to Him, you are serving Him. Knowing him that your Lord today as you are alive, it's not when you are dead. If you pray for a dead man, the Holy Spirit is gone already. That person cannot respond back to you anymore. So nothing will get from you. So you don't pray for the dead. You pray for the living. Why? Because you can see change yourself. Many of you, if you think that I am too busy, this is why I have not served the Lord, you can be busy and do it for 30 years. Succeeding. But I tell you, everything has an end. The end is what I'm going to let you know today that. Because of the end that is coming, make up your mind to have time for Christ. Why do you have to have that time for him? Because it's your hope of glory. Without him, you can do nothing. And that's the practical truth. Do not say I'm looking for some. Whatever you are looking for, I don't want to know. What I know is without Christ, you can do nothing. So, brothers and sisters, today, challenge yourself, make up your mind that I have what is religion about, all about. What is it all about? It's not a company, I say it again. It's not a company. It's just a way of life. That's every human being. I don't know about animals, but human beings, you have to adjust to it. If you don't adjust to it, you are living yourself. Because tomorrow, you must answer the query. There is judgment at the end of each life. No one has escaped that judgment. That is the problem. And for that reason, we be clear against that day by accepting Christ as the Lord and Savior. And what do you do? You will be there to Him. Serve Him. Without Him, you can do nothing. That's why it is seek me first. Every other thing I will ask you. Who might be saying, No. I will seek every other thing to look for you, Lord. 
that will not work out well with the Lord. It might work out well with you, but with the Lord it is not. Many of us here, we don't even know we are deceiving ourselves. We think we are too wise. You are only wise to yourself, fooling yourself, unknown to you. If you know, you won't do it. Many don't know. We think we are too wise. That's why you don't have time. No, 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 no. No, you have to have time. Christ himself said it. Without me, you can do nothing. And for that reason, and I want to encourage every one of us, make sure you adjoin yourself. You don't call yourself a child of God without remaining in it. It's not possible. It is not possible. When it says, okay, even ordinary talking about taking Holy Communion, Many of you call yourself Christians and still you feel you don't add what why that the body come here. No. See, no. Why would that the body come in here? Why you tell us in Paul Matthew 6 52? If you're not a part of me, take my body. If you're not, you don't take it, if you're not part of me. If you do it at the last day, when you say at the last day, you could for any reason die and sit on him. If you are worshiping him, sit on him. On that last day, he's going to raise you up. First. To go to eternity with him. So don't think about what is happening on this head here. It's not any here, so. It's not the end. Not just for you see, that's okay, I don't have time anymore. No. Christ is our open glory. We must have time for him. Forget about what the world around you is telling you. Tell him not to have time to have it. Rather, you push you. The enemy is aware of it. That if you have time for the Lord, the blessing become your portion. And for that reason, the enemy always encourages you, don't have time for the Lord. But when you are forced, we have to finish. Let us look to the book of 1 Thessalonians. Chapter 4, verse 13, please. 1 Thessalonians. I will not have to be gonna drive them concerning them which, which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as other we have no hope. If you are if you believe in Christ, don't be afraid of anything. Just know, like you had it said it already, at the last day, you are sure of going to die to it. It is not everything doesn't end here. Just as you think. It doesn't end here. And you cannot make any change anymore. Once you stop breathing, you cannot say, hey, hey, hey. I wanted to check next week. Oh. Nah, I can't do anything. That is the end. So you don't know when it will happen. The best thing is, we are all here alive, solid, and okay. Make up your mind now that what is anything about Jesus Christ? The Lord Himself, God, I am here. Seek in force, He said. Seek Him in all ramifications of life. Do not say, I'm too busy. What do you mean by your busy? Busy to me what? It should be number one in your life. The first thing you think about in your life is Him. Any other thing will be added. But if you don't know that, you are only doing yourself, you wouldn't know. That tomorrow is going to come, we are be able to not to do anything anymore. And then you say, Lord, Lord, you will not answer you. Why? Because that's what the book of Philippians chapter 3, verse 20 to 21. Philippians. Philippians 3. Our conversation is in heaven from whence us we look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change our vile body that it may be fashioned like unto glorious body. He's talking about the end that I just talking to you now, according to working, whereby he's able, even to suitable all things unto himself. 
at the end of the day, the same year, me and you, when you are no more preaching, they call you dead already. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, Jesus Christ, you hear the story, is he dead, died for you, and stay alive today. You say, what are you talking about? At the end of the day, that is what is going to happen. That is what is going to happen. So if you decide to remain yourself now, you don't have time for him. It's not a problem. But just know at the end of the day, you cannot call him on that day and do anything for you. It's that day. It's not possible. So it's like you have no option. Why? Because he's the only one that was able to look outside humanity back to his heavenly father. And this is where that of the Lord told him. Say through him you can become this. But if you still think you are too big to expect that person, that one Jesus Christ, it's not a problem. Live on your own. There's no force. This is why I cannot force anyone that will come to church or must worship God. No. Who am I? At the end of the day, you know you see yourself. You are only deceiving yourself. You call yourself a Christian. But you don't even one day have time for him because you think, what am I looking for now? I have a job already, I have money, I have a house, I don't need blood anymore. No problem. Going to a church like that. But I want to let you know there is always an end. If you die in Christ, then I have just explained to you, eternity is sure for you. Because at the last day, it will take you, let's go. We are going to find that eternity which has already built everything for me and you. And if you don't want that, no, it will never force you. Many of you know it's good, but you don't want it. Somebody will force you. So now that you guys are not fasting, what I come was can never to you that you must worship him. No. But I will tell you the best thing is worship him. Why? Because he's the only way out. We are celebrating one that is passed away now. We are happy. Why? Because while she was on this earth here, she made sure she honored that same Lord. That's why they call him Olu Ami, my Lord. Why? Because she knows who the Lord is. Because I do definitely show up with the scripture. At the end of the day, Jesus Christ will just say, let's go to eternity. There's no doubt about it. We don't know pray. We don't pray for that. Like you cannot pray for a dead person. When the spirit is gone away from the person, you pray for that person, not really happen. Why? Because you cannot respond anymore. But the finance is God Himself, you know what to do. And this is the reason why we should not play with our life, thinking that we are too wise. You cannot be wiser than the one that made you. He has given us the direction. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Obey him by doing his ways. We do it his ways. Obey him. Obey his ways. Worship me. You say no. Do this. Imagine. We are all here now. If you say we should be coming to church only on Sunday, it's not a problem. But that Sunday be here yourself too. If you say we should not come on Thursday, on Wednesday, on Friday, you say okay. Early Sunday, be here yourself. But the same you will not come. So what is the you hold in? We are only deceiving ourselves. So perhaps it's that today, make it your mind and make a decision within yourself that I will live for the Lord. If you are living for the Lord, nothing no one can stop you. Even the, the greatest enemy of this earth has no power to stop your blessings. You have this morning, everyone of us here. God made you in his image and that he knew you. He, he presented you before you were made. You are made for a purpose. That is the essence of this church. You are made for a purpose. You are trying to make sure that everyone here fulfill his purpose on this earth. No matter what God has already known you, presented you, and gave you that purpose. Ability to be able to live for your purpose. This is what we are doing here. If you don't want to live for a purpose, it's not a problem. It cannot force you. But we tell you, the best thing is, you want to see everyone here to believe the purpose in life. And that is the mission of the church. If you don't want it, you cannot force it on you. Say, so I want to come to church only once in a year. It's not a problem. But you, may, you might lose what God is offering to those who are abide in Him. And give by his word. My prayer is every single soul that is here, everyone you cannot live for yourself. Christ is the hope of glory. It's the prayer that saves you. You are not yourself. 
Where is that breath taken away from you? Just the breath only is taken away from you. The being remaining in you, you become what you are made from. What is this? From sand. That small breath only is God himself in you. And that's what I respect. Respect that one. And please, brother and sister, have time. Have time for Christ. Why? Because emphatically is the truth and the way. He said it's the way out. What the word is Father is through him. There is no appellation. In this time around, there is no bribing. There is no like, let me talk to you. Who is in charge of that paper? You can't talk to anybody. So simple. Obedience is needed. Do his way. Obey his way and follow him. He made you in his image. He gave you that love to live by, which is the Bible. You don't want to read it. This is why you come to church. I don't know how to read though. Just come and sit down. At least you can hear me listening. Then you get to know what you're supposed to know. Which is enough to save you. And save your eternal life. Eternal life. But if you think you don't want that, it's not a problem. Since God, I know God can never force anyone. This is why I am not, I'm not going to force anybody. You want to come? Boom. You don't want to come? It's not a problem to me. But I know it's the best thing. Come. Why? Because I want to see everybody like this on that day in the sunny day and the end of the day. No one should end up with the devil. Why? The devil has his own also. So, brothers and sisters, the society around us, they are aware of this same truth. They want to urge you not to have time for that truth. Rather, face the world what they give to you. If you are not facing it, okay, the people run for you. You don't want to face the law, they give you corona. You start running up two tests, three times in a day, you will do it. Because they say it. If you don't do tests, you cannot go to work. Oh, you have to do tests. You are obeying my man. If God said this, would you do it? You wouldn't do it. See, that's the problem we have as human beings. You respect government, you respect the people more than your law. And the government is upon his shoulder. If he says no, he's no. No one can change it. But you believe on the one you are saying, take it that physical is better than the future. No. Future owns the whole thing. Brother and sister, you are woman based. Jesus Christ has already paid the price for you and said you are justified already. So you have a opportunity to say, God, what is happening to my leg? I don't want this pain. Go away, but you need go. It is God because the authority is running in you. Christ said, What are you to me, Father? I give to my those who believe in me. Are you going to say the Christian? Don't you know that Lord Himself is still tomorrow active? He's still active to tomorrow. Where is the Holy Spirit? So that I do say practice anywhere you are. You don't have to travel from heaven to hell before you go to hell. No. This man, the Holy Spirit is not around anywhere. If you don't want the Holy Spirit, no problem. I come to you, stay in you. If you say, leave me alone, it leaves you alone. So, brother and sister, if you don't obey, there's no way it can live in you. So, brother and sister, please, all I want to say is today we are trying to celebrate the dead. Why? Because we knew that one never, never said, I don't have time for the Lord. She had an awful time with the Lord. She's sleeping now. I can surely assure you that on that day, Jesus himself said, stand up and let's go. Why? Because if you sleep on the Lord, that's what we see. We don't need prayer for that. And that's what I want you to be able of you. To go ahead of yourself. And be seeking him. And not thinking that uh, you are too powerful on your own. So please, I don't want to talk too much today. I just want us to know that we call it a century of God, but abide in Him through His word. Why? Because the end must come for everyone, and at the end there will be judgment, and no one can escape judgment. Please, brothers and sisters, remember that no one can escape judgment. Remain in Christ, so that at the last day you will be sure you are going to eternity. Today, as you have come to witness this program. The Lord Himself will speak to your spirit that the enemy will never be able to take you away from you anymore. Amen. Rather, you concentrate yourself in doing His work so that finally Christ can openly, proudly take you and say, I've made heaven for you and let's go. 
and that is what will happen to everyone and hear the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. None of you shall miss heaven. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen.